what is up guys welcome back to another comic book haul from your old pal bullseye um i have been putting off doing this for a little while and my books are stacking up so i figured uh i would just do it and let her rip so let's get uh to these books these are all dollar books except like f maybe five um a couple of those were like from the two dollar bin I'll, I'll point those out um so yeah all dollar books we got this green lantern uh looney tunes cover this is one of the more desirable um looney tunes um variants a uh, nice copy nice newsstand copy of batman returns the uh, adaptation love that picked up another um action 593 this is where um they try to like make a sex tape with superman and big barda got uh earth 2 Val Zod. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's first Val Zod, like, as Superman. Um, pick this up. Justice League Unlimited. Number 16. Um, you know, just a cool Christmas cover. A lot of You got a lot of girls on the cover there, too. You got Power Girl. 90 Supergirl. I love that Supergirl outfit. That's, that's the best. Um... I got this, what is this, Infinite Frontiers, number five, and this is with a Suicide Squad cover. Um, mainly I picked it up because Ratcatcher is kind of right in the front, Ratcatcher 2, who isn't really in the comics, and just, I mean, I thought she was kind of the standout of the movie, kind of the heart and soul there. And uh, speaking of Suicide Squad, we got Peacemaker, number three and number four so happy to get those um i showed this i think in my last haul this is what is this power of shazam number six and this is the reintroduction of captain nazi and it is newsstand that's the main reason i picked it up there um i guess kind of the reintroduction happens in it's like the the issue before this number five he's on the last page you know one of those things um, we got 353, uh, FF, and I believe this is, yeah, this is Mobius, um, from the Loki series. This is his first appearance, and it is a new stance. However, in the direct edition, there's actually a picture of Mobius in that UPC box. So, it, that one is also his first cover. It's, it's almost more desirable, but that's, I mean, you know, it's a new stand from the 90s, so it's definitely more rare. Uh, this was one of the $2 books I picked up. Um, just a cool uh, Falcon variant. Seemed like that was worth two bucks for me. Um, we got Atlas, number one. This is the Women of Marvel variant there. I got two of those for a buck. Figured what the heck. Uh, I, you know what? I thought this was cool. I was thinking about this recently about, uh, Unstoppable Colossus. This is, uh, Uncanny X-Men 543. Apparently his first appearance is the issue prior to this 542. I found this one. I, I do feel like Marvel leans too heavily on their kind of combo gimmicks where it's like you like this guy you like this guy well here's weapon h now it's it's two of them combined together um however i thought unstoppable colossus was really cool and it really served the story like it, it just made sense it was it was awesome so i kind of wanted to start picking a few of those up um i got wonder man from his 90s miniseries Number one, newsstand. So I figured it was worth a pickup. Uh, the poster is in there. Um, you know what? I didn't look this up. So I'll put it on the screen. I think it's like, this is a couple first appearances in it. I believe one of them is like Elsa Bloodstone's brother. But more importantly to me, this is a, a cover homage to 
my literal favorite movie of all time, Battle Royale. It is so good. I have the theatrical release poster framed in my living room. I'm a massive fan of this. It's, it's based on a novel. I have the novel. It was also adapted into a manga. I have that. But um, yeah, this is kind of a cover swipe of the main, um, main movie poster. Uh, and it's a first, you know, so I figured I would get a couple of them. They had a stack. So I got three there. They had a big stack of them. And I got the nicest ones. Here's another book they had a stack of. Um, Secret Wars Zero, Free Comic Book Day. Uh, this has this backup story with, um, Attack on Titan, where the Avengers fight Titans. I think this is going to be a bigger book in the future. Like, it's just such a popular franchise, rightfully so, you know, and you don't see a lot of crossovers, a lot of Marvel crossovers these days. Um, so that was another one where I just grabbed, like, the nicest, nicest few because they had a bunch. Um, got this cool Adam Hughes cover for Marvel Age 129. And I got Brute Force number one. I don't know. Is this the most 90s comic ever? I know there's, it's no, there's no foil or like holograms or anything, but I, I don't know. I love that book. Got one of these cool um, handouts, I guess. This was, uh, looks like this was given out by Doctors. Um, Captain America, Return of the Asthma Monster. Always get those promotional books. Uh, just cool couple second prints here. Got Daredevil 508, second printing. Very cool cover. And... Um, 509, also second print variant. That's, uh, you know, homaging a very famous uh, Daredevil cover where he's the one hugging Electra's cross. I forget the issue number. And then also got this, this really cool second printing variant featuring Deadpool. Shout out to Beauty Comics. I'm pretty sure I, showed, I saw him show this in one of his recent haul videos and so here is a, a two this was another two dollar book i picked it up because it's got sabra who is like this israeli superhero and i believe she was going to be in a new captain america movie but i did find one in the dollar bin like the next day um and then this was like the second part of that story. And, you know, she's on the cover there. And I found also a second copy in the dollar bin. That one is newsstand. Um, got Ecto Kid number nine. This is the final issue of the run. And I believe I, I can't remember 100% who I saw talk about this. I'm pretty sure it was Renovision. Um, great YouTube channel. You should check it out if you're, if you're not familiar. Um, and this was written by a uh, Lana Wachowski. At the time, they were Larry uh, Larry Wachowski. This is the Wachowski siblings who did The Matrix, and this predated The Matrix and had a lot of very similar um, ideas. Like, like maybe this was the start of the um, idea that turned into The Matrix. You know, so it was a final issue and. One of the ones they wrote, I thought it was worth a pickup. Um, I'm a big comedy nerd. I love comedy. And, uh, like, that's, I don't know, if you look at stuff I follow on Instagram, it's like comic books, Overwatch, and comedy. And um, I had never seen this before. This is those Blue Water comics. They do a lot of these, like, celebrity books. And uh, this is, like, a Saturday Night Live one. Uh, you got Tina Fey, Eddie Murphy, Dana Carvey, John Belushi, and Lauren Michaels there on the cover. And inside, it's got everybody. Like, it's really cool. Really cool book there. If you like uh, comedy and SNL and stuff. Just Scarlet number one. You know, cool Maleev cover. So, 
so Star Wars Legacy number six. I did not notice it somehow when I picked it up, but this is like one of the ones that came with the toys. As you can see, it's lacking um, some of the normal trade dress. Like if you wanted to buy it, um, I don't know, most, like at least the toys that are sealed that they come with go for like decent, decent cash. And then I also got 22. I forget this guy's name, but he's like the big bad of this, uh, the big, the bad Sith of that storyline. Um, Green Hornet number one from Kevin Smith run. This is the female Kato. This is her first cover. I don't know if she actually appears in story in this one. Um, and this is a variant. As you can see, the background is black and white. They had a ton of these, but I just picked up one. I already have the main the main one with the, the normal color background. Um, got the Thing, Climate of Fear, number one. I always pick up these books. I, I love the Thing. Love most horror books. Um, and also got issue two. I, these are doubles for me. I I definitely hold, I have a good stack of Thing comics. Um, I got a Perillo cover. I think this is like B cover. For Warlord of Mars, number eight. And then got Xena Warrior Princess. This is a Dave Stevens cover. Happy to get that. I do think it's not his best work. Um, but also maybe she's hard to draw. Like if you look at Campbell's cover of her, too, it's it's not it's not his best work. That's that's all I'll say. Um, let me see, I got, got some more stuff here. Uh, I know these, these books have gotten hot recently over the garden wall. Um, the show it's based on looks really cool. It's got like Elijah Wood and a lot of good people. I think Christopher Lloyd. So I definitely want to check that out. Seems, seems like people really like it. I did not find a number one, but all of these seem to be pretty decently like, um, you know, in demand books, even the later issues seem to sell for around like 10 to 20. This is the second printing of number two. And then it's this number three. And then second or another a variant for number three. Number four. And then another cover for another man. That glare is not helping. And that's uh, another variant for four there. And issue five. And I think, did I get another one? Yes. Okay. And I got six. And the variant for six. So happy to get a nice little stack of those definitely want to check that show out uh, let's see i'll try to power through these quick uh, a sectars number one another one of those and number three this was one of the two dollar books i picked up strawberry shortcake number three i just don't see those that much and um air raiders number one I think this was like, I don't think they actually ever made this into a show, but I think that was probably originally what was planned. Um, but there was a toy line that did come out. And, um, Karate Commandos number four. This is also a $2 book one from the $2 section. Spiral Zone number one. Uh, I don't think I've actually ever seen the show but um i know mercenaut likes this he's he's uh done some unboxing of the figures on his channel before got a five goes west number one newsstand and then uh, direct as well most of these last books are like cartoon and stuff um Another Ren and Stimpy number one. Nice copy. 
Simpsons Comics number two and number three. This is cool as heck. Saved by the Bell number one photo cover. I did get two of these. Very nice copies. R.I.P. Dustin Diamond Screech. Uh, Bill and Ted's excellent comic. Number one newsstand. Working on my Dark Water Pirates of Dark Water run. Tom and Jerry Adventures number one. Uh, hook the adaptation number one two of those and no issue number two newsstand and a second one that's also a newsstand and then issue four newsstand i do have um a full run of that i have a couple other issues but i love that movie Looky, looky, I got hooky. <gasps> Hook now! Um, Beowulf number one. The main reason I picked this up is because, well, I do, I like to get movie adaptations. And this is an adaptation of that CGI Beowulf movie. But is that Roger Avery, I mean, his name's on the cover. But basically the comic is based on his screenplay that he wrote with Neil Gaiman. But, you know, he, he co-wrote Pulp Fiction. And I've been listening to the podcast he's doing with Quentin Tarantino, uh, Video Archives. And I just thought it was cool that it had Roger Avery's name on the cover. Like, I don't know. Maybe, like, would be a cool comic to get signed by him, possibly. Um, this is just a run I'm working on. Blade of the Immortal. It looks like that's 58. Um... My Hero Academia. This is not the first, but I think it's cool anytime My Hero is in like a Western comic because it was heavily influenced by that. Here's a book I've been finding a lot of recently. This is the first appearance of Demon Slayer and Zom 100. I've seen a few episodes of Zom 100. It's, uh, it's entertaining. But, I mean, Demon Slayer is like one of the biggest fucking... Animes out there. I wouldn't sleep on that book. I think that's going to skyrocket. And then this was four dollars. It's the only four dollar book I got. It is Untold Tales of Chex Quest. And this was a video game that came with like Chex Mix cereal. I think in the in nineties, probably maybe early two thousands. I forget exact date. Um, it also got pretty big because this guy. Oh, shoot, I'm forgetting his name, like video game historian or something. Um, he is like a huge YouTuber and one, like a very early YouTuber as well. And uh, he did a video about it. And he also wrote the foreword for this comic book, which I thought was really cool. There's a variant for this, too, if, if, if you guys are interested. It's, it's not exact. It doesn't have like, I don't know, look it up. I didn't think it was the best. And then also, just because I kind of grab everything based on a comic book, or everything based on a video game, this is Dream Daddy, a dad dating simulator. And this is issue number three. So that's the variant for issue number three. All right, that is it for this haul. I still got a pile of books here that I got to shoot and then get put away, so... Keep your eyes peeled for that. Hopefully it's soon. No promises. All right, guys. Take care easy. See you in the next one.